Okay, now we're going to add uh, different shapes to the game so that it'll look like this, so that not everything has to be a square. So let's get started on that. First things first, we're going to need to um, when we go to draw cell, draw cell. Right now, we're just doing a rectangle. So instead of doing a rectangle, I would like to have whatever is calling draw cell. So you can hear, see here that power ups are are drawing cell, and they're just specifying a point and a color. So instead, I'd like to say what shape they should draw. But instead of just saying the name of a shape. Because we could just say, you know, like like circle as a string, um, and then we could have in draw cell we could say, um, you know, like if, and then do here say like shape name and do like if shape name equals circle, and then draw circle else if shape name. But I don't want to do that. What I would rather do because it gets kind of clunky, is I'd rather just say, here is the function that I want you to run to draw the, the shape for me. So let's say something like, we have speed up, speed power up color, let's have speed power up draw fun, or shape fun. Now let's do draw fun. What did I do before? I did shape fun? Ah, let's do shape fun, that's, that's fine. So let's do that. So then we're going to need some shapes. So let's do um, uh, let's do food shape fun. So food color shape fun. Let's make that a diamond. And then let's now that we have multiple constants that are related. Let's do. Um, uh, for for oh for food, um, for all food we'll just do diamonds. So we'll say uh, spoiled food shape fun equals diamond, and same for poison. Poison shape fun equals diamond, and then for power ups let's do a circle. Speed, power up, shape fun equals circle. And these will all be functions. And we could call it circle fun, but we're saying that it's shape fun right there. So we don't need to do that. And then this, if this, this is the actual like name of the function. So if we said circle fun, then we'd have a function that says function circle fun, which would be redundant. So there we go, we got our food and then we'll just leave our snake alone for now. So now we need to make, we need to call these functions. So draw poison will be um, poison shape fun. This will be spoiled food shape fun. This will be food shape fun. So draw food, we'll use, we'll pass in the food shape, spoiled food, It'll be the same shape, but we'll pass in the spoiled food shape, the poison shape, uh, the speed power up shape, and then here we'll have a shape function. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just call that shape function with the uh, x, the y, the width, the height, and the shape fun. Oh, and the color. So this will be um, rectangle, x, y, width, height, color, uh, shape fun. Oh, we don't, need to, we don't need to pass shape fun to shape fun. This is the function. Each function will need to take an x, y, a width and a height, and a color. So rectangle, let's do this. Rectangle will take an x, oh, I didn't say function. <laughs> rectangle will take an x, a y, a width, height, and a color. And here we have, um, let's do, let's pass it the actual pixel, pixel x equals 
cell width times x, and then we'll pass pixel x, and then pixel y cell height times y, and then that will do pixel y, and then we might as well say um, uh, grid x is x. Is it that way? No, I think it's I think it's the other way. I think it's x is grid x and y is grid y. So we can say cell width times grid x, so that we know it's not a pixel. Grid y, pixel x, width, height, color, rectangle. And of course, now we need to say that our snake color, or sorry, our const snake shape bun equals rectangle. And when we do draw snake, we'll do, uh, let's just make the default be, uh, let's, let's pass it in. Uh, rectangle, no, snake shape draw bun. And then uh, we'll, we can do defaults in JavaScript. So let's do, uh, I think it's shape fun equals, uh, we can just default this to rectangle. So if somebody doesn't pass in shape fun, because uh, parameters are optional in JavaScript, if you don't pass something in, it'll either set it to undefined, or if you have a default, it'll set it to the default. So let's play with that a little. Let's go into this thing here and do um, uh, function a, and we'll do um, parameters one, two, three. Then we can do console.log. Oh, actually, we can just return, we can just return, um, what can we do, an array? We'll just return one, two, three. And then we'll call A, but we'll only pass in one and two. Um, let's do uh, var b equals a. Oh, we didn't return it. That's why. Let's do that function again. Return. And now if we do a, now we get we get um, that array back. But we see that two is undefined. So it didn't break because we didn't um, we didn't pass in three parameters. It just uh, just left it as undefined. But if we say three equals three, and then we call that, now we see that the third element of the array is three. So we can set defaults. And let's see what happens if we just do, just pass one variable. Okay, so yeah, the third one uh, gets filled in with the default. The second one is just empty. What if we do, what if we do, uh, just, what if we do none? Okay, yeah. Uh, we might even be able to specify like two equals, you know, A. No, so that, that even though we said it was two, it actually put it in the first, it doesn't matter what we told it it was. And that's probably more like a variable, like it's probably setting the value to two rather than saying that the, the, uh, the parameter two is to be set to A. There might be a way to set parameters, I'm not sure, in JavaScript. So anyways, back to the code. So here's a default, so that if they don't pass in a shape fun, the shape will be um, a rectangle. And let's say if they don't pass in uh, a color, then it'll be white. And then we have these different shape funds that we have to do. So we did a rectangle. Uh, let's see. We need circle and diamond. So a diamond, let's do circle first, function, it's actually, well, yeah, circle. We're gonna get an X, a Y, a width, a height, and a color. And we're going to, um, let's see, I think, uh, I'll just grab it and then I'll explain it. Diamond, rectangle, circle, uh, four, four, two, four, sixteen like that. Let's put this in here. So this is complicated. I'll walk us through it. So 
with a with in JavaScript, if we want to draw a circle, let's go to our documentation and do um, let's go to our two D context. Uh, get context that that'll do. So we go to get context that tells us it's going to return us a canvas canvas rendering two D context. And that now that we're here to this object, it'll tell us what we can do with it. And the methods are like they're functions that you can call. The methods are like functions on an object. We can do uh, should be in here ellipse, which is a circle, or it can be a circle. And you pass to ellipse the center of the circle, the center x, the center y. How how what the what the radius should be on the x y axis, so left and right, and what the radius should be up and down. Then how it should be rotated. So if you want to have an ellipse like this, you can then rotate it and the start angle and end angle. So you don't have to have a full ellipse. You can have like sort of a Pac-Man shape starting here and then going around to here. One of the confusing things about this is that um, it's in radians. It's not in uh, degrees, which we a lot of us learned in school. So uh, there are there's the value pi, and that is uh, pi radians will get you halfway around the circle. Two pi radians will get you all the way around the circle. So two pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. So let's figure out where we want our um, center of our circle to be. We don't want it to be at X because that's the top left of the cell that we're going to be in. And we don't want to be at, or that's the left of the cell. Y is the top of the cell. So we want to be in the middle. So if the middle would be if we start at X and we add width, that'll be the left hand side and the right hand side of that cell. So if we take the middle, if we somehow can get into the middle of that, then we'll be in the middle of the cell. Well, if we, instead of adding X plus the width, we'll add x plus one half the width, and that'll get us midway into the cell. So that's what we do here. Take the floor of width divided by two, so half the width plus the x, and then just take the floor. If there's decimals, we'll just chop that off and just keep things even. And that's gonna be the cell center x, the, the x coordinate of the pixel at the center of the cell. Same thing with the y, only using the height. We're gonna get the y coordinate and then add half the height to go down to the middle of the cell. The radius I set to the width divided by two. So radius is from the center of the circle out to the edge. And I I want the radius, of course, if the radius was the, the width, then it would go all the way out, uh, like a cell in a, out to the next half, uh, halfway into the next cell and halfway into the previous cell. And I don't want that. So I only want the radius to be half of the width. So it goes out to the edge of the cell. I don't want it to touch the edge of the cell. So I just I multiply that by 0 0.9. So it'll go... Yeah, it'll go almost to the edge of the cell. And then start rotation radians. That's on the X. Uh, if, if you have a unit circle, which is just a circle that has a, a radius of one, uh, if you have that at a location, the circle that you're drawing starts at X is one and Y is zero. So you're starting from here and you're drawing around and back. And then we're telling it we want to do, how, we just, I just labeled this, how many radians are in a circle? Well, there's math, pi, times two radians. So that's how you get the constant for pi. It's math.pi, and we multiply that by two. And finish rotation radians is when we go back to our thing here, it said what the the end angle, oh, rotation. Finish rotation, we actually want finish angle. I don't know why I said finish rotation. Let's say that's not, shouldn't be start rotation radians. It should be start circle radians and finish circle radians. And let's change that. Let's, let's organize this a little better. Let's put, let's line these up. And I can just do, uh, that's saying replace all comma space with comma new line. And then I can do this. I can do a block uh, insert, insert in front of all of them. So there we go. <clears throat> so we want to draw an ellipse. Here's our here's our documentation. And x the x y point that we're start that the center of the circle is at. How wide we want the circle in the x and y axes. How much we want to rotate it, which is none. And then the start and end angle. So here we have the cell center and X and Y, we have the radius for the X and Y, they're both gonna be the same. Although if we change the dimensions of our board, they could be different. The rotation's gonna be zero uh, and the start rotation, uh, yeah, this, this is supposed to be start, start 
start circle, start circle radians, and start circle radians, and then we'll call fill. So um, we figured out all the places, like all the dimensions of our circle, where it is, how wide, how tall, um, how, how much of a circle it is. Then we set our fill style to the color that we passed in. Then we have to say begin path, and then we say draw this ellipse, and then we say fill. So that'll fill it with, and notice we said fill style, not stroke style. So not the line uh, that we want, but rather what, what we want to fill in this shape that we've drawn with. So you can either stroke or draw the line in the shape, or you can fill in the shape. So we got that, and then we're going to need diamond. So I will just grab that and explain it again. So here's our diamond function. And again, we're taking an X, a Y, a width, height, and a color. And with a diamond, we want it to be, we want the top to be in the middle, the sides to be at the edges, and the bottom to be in the middle as well. So we need to calculate what the middle X is. And so in order, so we, the left X is just X, and then the right X is just X plus the width. That'll get at the start of the cell and the end of the cell. The starting Y will just be Y, the ending Y is Y plus the height. So that'll get us, if we were drawing a box, that would be fine. And then if we want the middle X, we're again, we're gonna take the X and we're gonna add half the width to go from the, the from one side of the box to the middle is half the width. If we went the whole width, we'd get all, all the way over the other side. And again, half the height will get us to the um, to the middle. So when we draw out to the our diamond out to the sides, we wanna draw those sides halfway down. And when we're starting the diamond, we wanna start it from the middle and draw it out to the sides. So we'll set the, we'll, we'll path this again and then at the end we'll do fill and so we'll set the fill style to whatever color so we're going to move to x left so the left hand side and y is at the middle so in the middle of the cell we're going to move over here then we're going to line to let's see we're going to line to uh that was x left y middle then we're going to go x middle and y top then x right y middle and then x middle y bottom and then x left y middle again and then we're going to fill that in and we're going to need to close off that function. So there we go. Now we have diamond functions for drawing, a circle function for drawing, and a rectangle function for drawing. So let's see if that works, or we'll see what errors we get. Uh, snake shape draw fun is not defined. Uh, yeah, because I didn't say draw fun. I said, oh, I don't want snake shape draw fun. I want snake snake shape fun. That's all we want. Let's go back here. Oh, uh, reference start circle radians is not defined. Start circle. Start. Oh, I did something wrong. Start. Start circle radians. Oh, that's not right. So what did we do? We drew it way too big. Why is our circle way too big? Let's see, when we, we're saying the cell width times X, I'm pretty sure this is the, oh, 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 oh. I was saying when I said draw cell, I was already calculating what the pixel width is. So I don't need to do it here. That'll already be the pixel width. Again, no oh, circle still goofy. So what's wrong with the circle? Why is there such a huge? Uh, let's see, center radius width divided by two. Are we doing something goofy? Radius x, radius y. Uh, restart this. <laughs> um, Wow. It's two o'clock. Again, that's just my reminder. So when I'm working, I can be reminded of how much time is going by. So we do draw cell. I'm pretty sure each cell has a grid X and a grid Y. And we're multiplying that to get the pixels. And it seems to work for Oh, seats work. Why are um, poison shape fun? Why are the poisons getting drawn? Poison shape 
Food, spoiled, and poison should all be diamond. And diamond should be this. Um, and a lot of programming is doing exactly what I'm doing right now. It's just figuring out why things aren't working the way you thought they were. And it's usually because you made a stupid mistake. So what we can do is we can go into sources and we can figure out, uh, let's look for uh, circle. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, command Z. Nope, I didn't. I don't want to edit that. I want to go down to the circle function. So draw spoiled food. Let's see, circle function. Let's put a thing there. Okay, so we got 375.50. I'm going to use the debugging um, tools to step through the code one line at a time so I can figure out what's going on. And it'll tell me what the, what the different variables are that I have. So it says that x is 375. We can make this a little bit bigger. W, uh, the width is 500. The height is 500. Width x y so 37550 we're saying so let's step i don't want to step into the next one control i want to step over the next function call so let's step over that line and see what cell center was 625 well that's outside of our window our window should only be at so what was x x is 375 oh oh that's okay so i don't want I don't want to add the width of the of the canvas, half the width of the canvas to the X. I only want to add half the width of the cell. So let's go back here and we want um, we want this to be uh, cell width, cell width and cell height. Now let's try that. Okay, console, something go wrong. Oh, we have a, a breakpoint. So I just clicked on the line number to set a breakpoint and that tells the, the browser, when you get to this line of JavaScript code, stop. So I can examine things. So we can just, okay, so there, we got our circles. So now, I don't know why our food isn't working. So let's go look again at our food. Oh, and there we got a, this is interesting. We had a power up that's over top of a food. And I don't think we're supposed to have that. So that's a bug that we found. So these are supposed to be diamond. Spoiled food shape fund should be diamond. Draw cell. We have point color. Oh, this is because I put, I put, that outside of the function. So it was defaulting to um, draw cell. Yeah, this, this whole thing right here, that is all an anonymous function. And I was putting the poison shape fund outside of that anonymous function. I was calling poison.map with two arguments, the function I wanted to call and some other argument. And JavaScript was just ignoring the second argument. So let's fix that, put those inside. And of course the circle one, uh, the, the power-ups worked. So now if we go back and do this again, now, yeah, now the food is diamonds. And I'm curious to know if, uh, let, if let's take our circle and let's make it very small times 0.2. And then we'll see if we can see a Uh, power up on top of food. See if that happens again. That doesn't seem to be happening anymore. So maybe that was something to do with. Oh, yeah, we have another bug too. You can see that if you if you hit a, a power up, it removes. So look at this line here. They all removed when I hit that power up. So I removed all of them. That's not right. So when we do, um, it's probably in like maybe power up or something in the game loop, maybe speed power up and 
maybe add speed power up. Oh, here we go. So it says if you're on the snake. Um, oh, if it, no, that's if it's not on the snake, grow if on food, maybe shrink, maybe speed up. Here we go. This says if it's on, if the snake head point is on a speed power up, then we want to remove the speed power up. Uh, let's go back there. Let's go to that function and it says remove point. Uh, and, but then remove point is, is wrong. There's an error, there's a bug in here. And it took me a little bit to figure it out. I'm saying I want all the points that aren't X, Y. Well, this code is saying remove, remove, uh, it's well, actually it's saying it's the, the filter function keeps everything that removes true. This says if X doesn't equal the remove X and Y doesn't equal the remove, remove Y. So I only want to keep things where the X isn't the same and the Y isn't the same. So if, if anything's in the same Y column, it'll get removed because the X and Y are not both different. Only one of them was different. So I don't want that. I want I want to keep anything where either the either the x is different because then it's not the same point, or the y is different because then it's not the same point. So let's do that. Let's fix that. Now let's wait until we have um, a power. There, there's two power ups in the same. Oh crap! I I ran off the board. We need we need two power ups that are in the same. There we go. They're in the same row. There, so that one's removed, and, and then, so this one was not removed when that one was removed, so that bug is fixed. So now we, let's go back and fix our circle so that it's not um, like that anymore, and let's draw those. There we go, there's our circles are back, there's our diamonds, and then the food should turn yellow when it's spoiled, and there's one spoiled, it's yellow, and then one, if one goes poisonous, it should go, there we go, so it goes red. So all our shapes are correct. So now before I end this, I wanna point out one thing. Now that we have all these various shapes and we're on this grid, we could actually change this to be a different kind of game. We could make it so that it doesn't tick automatically. We could wait for the user, we could have the user be in a specific place and wait for them to hit an arrow key. And when they do, then we can update the map to see what happens. And there's games like that, they're called roguelikes where these, icons would represent people or you know like some kind of items or or monsters or whatever in a in a map and then uh, you can walk around the map and as you walk around they move every time you move they move they update their logic so that this now that we have this framework we could start to make that kind of a game and that's it for now